Hello again. This is the Pencrest High School AP Physics 1 video series. This is video 2C, Mathematical Vector Edition. We've seen that uh, graphical addition of vectors can result in a measure of uncertainty, uh, some variation in your answers. Uh, what we're going to see is that mathematical addition of vectors is a much more accurate, uh, much more precise method for effectively doing the same thing. Uh, in order to add vectors mathematically, uh, initially we're going to use displacement vectors because they are the easiest to visualize. We're going to use what's called the component method to add vectors mathematically. When we think about components, it's going to help to think of a vector as the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So here we have a vector d. If we visualize that vector d as the hypotenuse of a right triangle, you can get to the same place. So if this is a displacement vector, some distance at some mathematical angle, <clears throat> we could get to the same place, that is right here, by going some distance along the x-axis and then some other distance parallel to the y-axis. Now, uh, in geometry and trigonometry you may have referred to these as uh, legs of a right triangle. Uh, we're going to call them components of the vector. We're going to call them respectively d sub x for the horizontal component and d sub y for the vertical component. Now the mathematical angle used in standard vector notation is going to be called beta. Okay, This is a Greek lowercase b. Uh, we know already that this angle is between 0 and 360 degrees uh, and it's measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. We're going to make a distinction between the mathematical angle and the angle between the vector and the x-axis uh, when we have to. The angle between the vector and the x-axis will be called theta, uh, Greek lowercase q. Uh, when the vector is in the first quadrant, beta and theta are the same. However, if a vector is in any of the other quadrants, 2, 3, or 4, beta and theta are not the same. Uh, the following images should make this clear. Um, here we have a vector A in quadrant 1. We know that the mathematical angle beta is measured from the positive x-axis upward. So here's beta and theta is between the vector and the x-axis. So in this case they are the same. But if we're in quadrant 2 like vector B, uh, the angles are not the same. They are related. But here is beta for angle B measured counterclockwise from the x-axis, from the positive x-axis. The theta, however, is between the vector and the x-axis in general, and it's always an acute angle. So here's your theta. And we can see, in this case, the angles are complementary. All right. Now, what we're going to do here um, <coughs> is add three vectors a, b, and c. Uh, when we do the example you're going to want to make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. Uh, if you hit the mode key on your calculator uh, the third or fourth line down will say radians and degrees. Uh, hit the down arrow key until you get to that line and then hit the right arrow key to get the cursor over degrees. Hit enter and then quit the mode by hitting second second function mode and now you're calculator will be in degrees mode. Now we're going to use the following formulas uh, where for vector a, uh, a is the magnitude of the vector and beta sub a is the mathematical direction of vector a. So for the x components a sub x equals a cosine beta sub a and for the y component a sub y equals a sine beta sub a. Um, note that the signs of each component that come up in your calculator are critical and they will matter. 
what we're going to then do is list all the X and Y components including the proper signs in a table all the X components here all the Y components here at the base of the column we add all of the X and Y components and we get what we call R sub X and R sub Y these are the X and Y components of the resulting vector R that we get by adding vectors A, B, and C. We then need to convert this ordered pair, this Rx and Ry, <coughs> into a vector with standard vector notation. So to find the magnitude, again the vector R is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. We use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. This is the magnitude of the resulting vector r. Then we're going to solve for theta sub r, the angle that r makes with the x-axis using trigonometry. So theta sub r is inverse tangent of the ry over the rx. Notice that these are in absolute value symbols, so we can ignore if ry or rx are negative. And then we establish the mathematical angle of the resulting vector r using the following based on which quadrant it's in. Now you can tell what quadrant r is in by looking at the signs of the components rx and ry. If they're both positive, r is in quadrant 1. If x is negative and y is positive, it's in quadrant 2. If they're both negative, r is in quadrant 3. And if x is positive and y is negative, r is in quadrant 4. Now here we have a sample problem. You're going to perform mathematical addition of vectors using the three vectors shown, to, shown below. Um, again, angles are mathematical, measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. Now we have a blank set of axes here uh, just for you to draw, sketch the, the vectors so you know where they are. D1 is in quadrant 1. D2 is in quadrant 2, D3 is in quadrant 3. Now, <clears throat> we also have listed a, a table for each of the components. Here are the three vectors we're going to add up, and here are spaces for Rx and Ry. And then down here, we solve for the magnitude, the direction, and then standard vector notation. Now, the answers look like this. Again, you should be able to verify each of these. Um, if you're coming up with numbers that don't match, the first thing you want to check is the mode. Um, again, make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode when, whenever you're adding vectors. We end up with positive components for Rx and Ry. That means that the vector is in quadrant 1. Pythagorean theorem gives us 292 meters for the magnitude of the vector. And then the direction when we do inverse tangent, we get 58.9 degrees. Um, it's in quadrant 1, so the mathematical angle beta equals theta. And then magnitude at navigation at mathematical angle is our final answer. Now, you want to notice that all answers are rounded to three significant figures. When you add the components of the original vectors, you probably want to use more precision than you show in your answers. In other words, when you calculate the components, you're going to take them out to a few decimal places, uh, maybe five or six significant figures, then add them up, and then round your final answer to three significant figures. So be careful with that. Now here's another sample problem. This one has um, vectors multiplied by uh, constants. We have 2d1 plus d2 and then minus 1 half d3. Recall that the constants only apply to the magnitude, not to the direction of the vector. And also recall that when you subtract a vector, it's like adding a negative vector. And the negative vector would be in the opposite direction. So if d3 is at 305, 305 is in quadrant 3. We would subtract 180, and that would be the direction of negative D3.
So again, here's the table of components. Notice that the components in the table are what you get for each vector after you multiply by the constant or change the direction here, or in the case of negative one half d3, uh, you have to do both. You gotta multiply by the constant and then change the direction. So here are your final answers. Again, um, if you get something different, check with your instructor. Um, we find here that the x component is negative and the y component is positive. That implies that this vector is in quadrant two. The magnitude is 829 meters. And then we find that the mathematical direction is 111. Um, again, when we solve for theta, we would get 69 degrees. Uh, because we're in quadrant two, it's 180 minus theta to go to the mathematical angle. And that's how we arrive at 111 degrees. All right. So again, make sure that you look at Rx and Ry. The signs tell you which quadrant it's in. Left and up is in quadrant two. All right. That will do it for mathematical vector addition. And... See you next time.